What is going on, everyone? All right, sorry for the late video, but as promised, after you watch yesterday's video of what to do before transferring from Ignite, now it's time to learn what you should expect after transferring. Also, quick word, reason I'm late is because I stream now and it's super fun because I get to chat with you guys while playing the game that I like. So if you want to hang out, follow me on twitch.tv slash noeditandy. I answer every single chat. So if you have questions about Ignite server or you hate being dono walled by streamers, that's what I'm here for. I also have a Discord so you can know when I'm streaming and when I help people all over the world. EUC, NA East, NA West, I am Mr. Worldwide. I helped unlock Transcendence for a bunch of people, so check out both the Twitch and Discord. Alright, that was a long as hell. So my bad everybody, let's get on with the video. Okay, now, what should you expect once you reach Legacy Servers on Wednesday? This is a public service announcement, by the way, for the people who will have an icon on them indicating that they are a new player. I hope you all realize that your icon is worth 300,000 gold, meaning that if you play with a veteran in a lobby and clear, you basically gave each and every one of those players a 300,000 gold worth relic engraving book. So what does this mean? Now it's your turn to gatekeep. Choose wisely who you allow to carry you in raids. Preferably, pick somebody that is actually nice and willing to help you learn the raid, but really it's up to you. You know, I know some of you just want to be carried and be done with it, so it's your choice. Another public service announcement. Do not transfer immediately. Wait for others to transfer first as guinea pigs just in case there's any bugs, because AGS has been doing that lately, or maybe something didn't get transferred over, like it should have. All my viewers should know not to transfer immediately. Just chill. And on Reddit, someone is bound to make a post if there happen to be some issues about the transfer process. All right, the next thing you should be getting ready for is tier four stuff. So you, you should be probably 1620 by now. So once you hit 1620, you are able to do North Curzon. So right now, you're tier 3. But now it's time to graduate, baby. Woohoo! I have a ton of videos about tier 4 that you should watch for all the specifics. But most importantly, make sure you get that South and North Curzon quest line done. The map is over here. These, these two, South and North. North unlocks at 1620. So make, or not, not really, but the tier four unlocks at uh, 1620. So make sure you do that. Similar to how you switched Brel to a con gear, you're going to want to do the same thing here, but with tier four. So you see, I have a newbie relic uh, gear. This is tier four. So make sure you convert your gear. I will make a lot more videos about what you should do in tier four, so don't get too overwhelmed. It's not as hard as everyone makes it seem. With tier four, you will now be tier four, but will still probably get gate kept if you don't have the proper setup. So make sure you keep farming those dark fires from Thaymine to do transcendence. The maximum you can get is 120 when you get level sevens on everything. So make sure you try to do everything. Get level sevens on chest, and pants first if you are a DPS. And I believe it's a shoulder and pants if you are a support. I will be helping out people with Thaymines on the Legacy server during my stream. So again, make sure you follow that Twitch. One big, massive, large, humongous, gigantic, enormous, gargantuan, behemoth. Hey, get it? All right, I'm rambling. Sorry, guys. One big thing you should do when you transfer is join a guild, preferably a guild that is level 25 and higher. With tier 4, you only need to join one guild for your roster, because I believe if you go to manage here, boom, you can click join roster and it will import all of your roster information into your character for the guild right here. So make sure you join the guild because 
you get to earn a bunch of bloodstones that you can use in the bloodstone shop. Make sure to join a guild as soon as you can because there is a waiting period, right? So make sure you do that fast. And the best case scenario is to join a level 25 guild that is also new player friendly. I mentioned this already, but what you should expect in Legacy Server is, unfortunately, gatekeeping. Gatekeeping is something that won't go away, so we have to deal with that. See here, you go here, go to like Legion Raid, for example, and let's say you want to do a Thay Mine. Look at this, homework. What does homework mean? Homework means that you are an expert at this lobby. This means that you should not die ever, and you have done this raid hundreds of times. That is homework. Jail, this just means that people got jailed and they want to get out, right? This is gate three. These are buses. Try to avoid these at all costs. You pay 25k gold for entering a spot here. These are terrible, but I want to I want to get a good example of a, of a gatekeep. Oh, here. There we go. So here, there's an X5. X5 means that you've cleared this raid five times. Now, you're probably wondering, how do they know? There are achievements that you have to link in order for you, that you to prove that you've done it five times because there are achievements for that. Same thing goes for EOT. This is the X10 title. So once you clear this raid 10 times, you get EOT. So you will experience gatekeeping based on titles and experience and whatnot. But since gatekeeping is something that won't go away, we just have to deal with it, right? Please do not feel discouraged and do not FOMO thinking that you have to do things as quick as possible. Take your time and if you ever need help, just ask people in my Discord because everybody's so nice in my Discord. If anyone is also doing the raid that you need, I have channels for those called LFG. While gatekeeping might not be a thing these upcoming weeks because of the boot camp, once everyone gets their relic books, they will no longer play with you. So please don't feel too bad about it. I will still continue to help you all in my free time on stream. Many people from Ignite didn't take advantage of the Chaos Gates and Field Bosses because why would you, right? It's useless at that uh, in Ignite servers. But now, in Legacy servers, once you convert to Tier 4, you are going to want to start doing the Chaos Gates and Field Bosses. These are extremely important because Chaos Gates give you tradable materials that you can finally sell in the Auction House. Yes. The auction house is finally available to sell. See, see how it says tradable here? You want to sell these. These will earn you a good amount of gold. And yeah, you need gold in this game, right? To push Transcendence and Elixirs and all that, all these vertical systems. So make sure you're doing your Chaos Gates. And then field bosses are important too because they give important drops in tier four like Enlightenment Potions, Relic Books, Blood Claw Fragment Items, etc. If you have no idea what I just said, I have videos to help you understand them. Last thing I want to mention is the Arc Pass. Now, there's a free version and a premium version. Well, I mean, there's two premium versions. There's a premium and then there's a super premium that give you free version loot plus additional loot. So I'll show you. This is the free version on the left side. This is the premium if you buy the premium and then super premium if you want like kind of like mounts and, and card packs and all that stuff. I don't really go for super, super premium because it's like, eh, right? But either or, if you are just a free to play, left side is pretty darn good. You just choose one of, or the other, right? Select one and then claim. And then premium just gives you free rewards too. So I understand if you don't want to buy the arc pass, but if you buy the arc pass, it's pretty good too. All right. I just, I just figured I needed to explain the Arc Pass because it's not in the Ignite servers. Okay, now that we talked about everything I wanted to talk about, now let's talk about the transfer gift rewards. And I wanted to explain everything really quickly, right? 200,000 gold, this is bound. So you can only use this for honing and elixirs and transcendence. You can't use this in the auction house to buy stuff, right? Tradable stuff. 500,000, just claim these. These are silver. You really want silver in this game. These are very valuable. Tier 4 gems. These are very, very good, and you should equip them as soon as you can. These are, you should probably know by now, the gear quality. So if you haven't done your gear quality yet, 50 on weapon. Oh my god, I would really love this on my Arcana. And then there's also 
150 armor. Make sure you do those. Legendary elixirs. There's 20 of them. Make sure if you haven't done your helmet and glove yet to get either master or critical set on them. These are really important. Legendary combat. You get a free 20 for legendary combat. So you get to unlock one legendary engraving for free using this. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, again, make sure you're researching what legendary engravings do. This is huge. So now this is definitely not tradable. Yeah, it doesn't say tradable, but this is going to get you a head start because Adrenaline Relic Book, as I said earlier, is 300,000 gold. So this is a 300,000 gold worth chest. It's insane. Make sure you keep this and use it when you need it. Don't use it right now. Okay, this one, Ability Stone. So if you haven't updated your Ability Stone yet, this is the thing right here that give you free engraving stats and also HP. Now mine is tier three dog poop, but this one gives you tier four. Make sure you cut these ability stones to try to get the maximum amount of, amount of points for your engravings. So prefer the highest you can get is what, 1010, right? But the best minimum you can get is a 97. Everybody raves about 97 rock. That's what they mean by this. Cause if you get a nine and a seven, that is really, really good and really strong. But if you can't get a 9-7, just get a 7-7. Seven, 7-7 seven, seven, seven is more than enough for ability stones. These are honing material chests, so make sure you use them up. Shards are very important, so make sure you use those up. Selection packs. Do not use these legendary selection packs until you are confident you can hit LOS 30. Right? Don't use it for even LOS 18 or LOS 24. Or actually, maybe LOS 24, but I don't know how the gatekeeping standards are for LOS 24. So... Just as a safety, keep these until you can use them for LOS 30. Now, if you have no idea what cards are, I do have a cards guide, so make sure you check that out. This one you should just claim and use because these ones are random chance. These ones also are random chance. This is card XP, just use it. Just use this stronghold. You're not gonna really need this for now. This is important. This is the echidna materials that you get for uh, clearing echidna. You want to use these to advanced hone. So if you have a bunch of tier three shards, but I heard that tier three shards don't transfer over. So again, make sure you guys check, right? But if you have tier three shards, make sure to unlock the uh, advanced honing in tier three before you convert your gear to tier four. If you have no idea what that means, I can show you on stream. Just ask me on stream. Dark fires. These are the ones for Thaymine Transcendence. They give you a hundred of these, but you're going to need way more for all level sevens. So this is a very nice to have. This is restoration ticket. This will save you a lot of gold for transcendence. So just, it, just wear it and then it will automatically apply every time you fail a transcendence. Combat XP. This is very, very important. Make sure you just eat them all up, right? There is a strat where you, you can wait until like level 69 and then use a certain amount of potions to bump you up to level 70. Let's not worry about that for now. New players, try to use this up and get to level 65 as soon as you can. New players definitely should just use this. This is good. This, oh wow, they actually give you, I didn't actually know this. They give you the relic set. So remember I said you needed to convert your gear to tier four. This is that tier four gear, so convert it. Oh, Yoza's Jars. So, I mean, guys, take a look at my Yoza's Jar video, but basically you have a 10% chance of getting a legendary skin. Now, what's so great about legendary skin? First of all, looks really nice. Look at that. Marcana looks really nice, but also it gives you additional stats. In this case, it's intelligence 2% versus this one, intelligence 1%. So it gives you an extra 1% intelligence compared to a purple. Okay, so yeah, you have a 10% of hitting that. So if you get a 10%, congratulations, you won the lottery. Behemoth, these are after clearing Behemoth. So this is for the weapon transcendence. So if you noticed in Ignite server, we don't have behemoth. So you don't have any transcendence on weapon. So this is to jumpstart your weapon transcendence as well. And then finally, what's the last one here? Oh, the transcendence for weapon. So yeah, it's, it's going to give you three free turns for if you fail your weapon, right? So it will, uh, it will save you a lot of gold, but three is kind of meh in my opinion. So don't worry about that too much. But basically, I explained everything in the rewards of what to do and what to save and what to kind of expect, right? So hopefully, everybody knows now what to expect after transferring from Ignite. 
Uh, and yeah, that's all. I hope everyone has a wonderful time in Legacy Servers. I will see you all there. And Pineapple Gang, drop in the comments. Welcome new players. Let's welcome them into our server and treat them nicely. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.